Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, I'm in Jigabut's room here looking at the bags. So, I don't know if you guys remember of me talking about this crappy little bag, which I found out it's not a crappy little bag, you guys. It's part of a Givenchy perfume collection. So, it's actually real, but it's just from a perfume. But I don't have to wear that crappy bag no more. Crappy to me because doesn't this bag look a little cheap? Doesn't it, babe? Yeah. It does look a little cheap, but you know, we love cheap around here, but since Jigabuts had told me on the day of my birthday that he was going to get me a late birthday present, and he knows that I love denim, so guess what he got me? If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys already know, um, a cute little camera bag. Oh my god, I love it. Here, look it. I can get it. I thought I could it. Look at how cute it is. I love the strap. Probably like a wow angel, a bag. Yes, this is my cute little camera bag. And I think two of my cameras fit in here. Yeah. So now I'm going to have to get the big tote bag. Hopefully by Christmas. Wink, wink. Um, But, you know, for Christmas I want to get myself the Prada boots. Get the Prada boots too. I, I, I don't know how I expect to get the Prada <laughs> boots, but yeah. And what was yesterday? Yesterday was Tuesday? This was Wednesday. Wednesday, <laughs> Chigga Butts went to the swamp meet with his mom. And he found himself a Gucci vintage bag. It's a little dirty. We're going to wash it. But it is authentic and it is so cute. It's vintage as you guys can see. Look at the inside. Let me show you guys the inside of this bag. For how much was it, babe? $15. <laughs> Look at it. As you guys can tell, this is an old bag. It's vintage, but it's real. It has everything Gucci. It has a code. Which will... And there you go. It's cute. It even looks cute as a, a clutch. Can you... You can take out the strap and use it as a clutch! Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I just barely figured that one out. <laughs> wow. But I think you're going to have to take it out through this end. Oh yeah, but you can take it off right there. Yeah. Oh my, it's it's actually clean, but you just need to clean a little bit right here. You need to clean it. You're my bag. But I feel like if I clean it, these um little um what is it called? Stitching. Stitching is probably gonna get dirty because it's white. Just it. You know what? I could clean it. Oh, this corner is just bitten, but it's cute. I love my camera bag. So cute, thank you, babe. No problem. I need to stuff it. So it I think shape. I do need to stuff it so I can keep it shaped, so huh? Love it. I'm afraid of her being embarrassed, which is bull. Hello, Mr. Angelitos. Today I'm here at Jacob Butt's house doing his niece's hair, Brianna. I even did her makeup. And her makeup for her senior photo shoot. Let's give him a glam moment. <laughs> Let's give him a glam moment. It's not done, okay? Let's give him a glam eyelashes, cam. And he needs lipstick. And he needs... What else does he need? Um, highlight. <laughs> it's not giving yet. What do you need? It's not giving yet. You look like you need something to too. Yeah, I need some. You need a shot. Shut up. Oh, what? Your shirt. Good morning, you guys. Buenos dias. I just woke up and you know what? I was seeing Remy and Alicia. Well, I think it was Remy. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I suggest you guys go listen to them. Hold up, my mom's calling me. Bueno. I, I was saying, um, are you gonna shut up? You know what, I forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, Angelito. Oh yeah, if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Pretty Basic hosts. And if you guys don't know what Pretty Basic is, I suggest you guys go see their podcast. Leave a comment. Angelito suggested you suggested them. Like if they know who I am. They probably don't even give a nap about me. So right now we're going to go get boba because I wanted boba because, you know, they were drinking boba. And I was like, um, Angelito, we're going to go get boba. So let me grab my camera before it falls off. I want Taro Boba, and if you guys are not keeping up with my social media, on my TikTok I've been drinking Chupapanza, which 
I think I talked about it already. So I've been drinking Chupapanza for a while, for a week. Have I seen results? Yes. I have, but I've been eating healthy. I know boba's not healthy, but it doesn't hurt once in a while. Yesterday, I did have a party and they had pozole, but I ate very little pozole because with the chupapanza, which I'm not, I'm not sponsored, I'm not getting paid to do this. Chupapanza literally cleans you out, gives you the runs, takes away your hunger for some odd reason, which is not a good thing because once you're off of that chupapanza and that hunger goes away, hunger is gonna creep up on you and it is gonna be wild. You're gonna get it all back, pero me, myself, and I, I have determined myself that once I'm done with my tea, my chupapanza tea, since I changed the way of eating and drinking, um, I'm gonna be drinking a gallon every day, eating healthy every day. You know, because it's a lifestyle. It's not something that you could just do here and there and just call it a day. But um, yeah, we're gonna do that. Praying, crossing fingers that I keep up with this because, to be honest, I feel good. I feel great about myself. I don't know if that's what the guy meant on TJ <laughs> that I need to focus on me, myself, and I. But um, let me tell you guys, it is bad. Uh, I'm just feeling myself. Well, we're gonna go get boba. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm over here overthinking it. I'm like, Angel, you're really gonna drink boba this early? Coffee nuts, yeah. Oh, that croissant looks good. Here, let me order my. Oh, that looks good too. Taro. Okay, let's go. Thank you for choosing coffee nuts. Would you like to try spicy chicken torta to today? No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Um, can I have a large taro boba? I was, but I'm sorry. Taro boba. Unfortunately, we're not serving boba until 11.30. Um, no, no, thank you. I'm good. There's a lost puppy, and I tried to save it, and it didn't let me. So, oh, hopefully it gets its home. Don't get lost, little guy. They didn't have my boba. That They don't make boba until 11 o'clock, so Uncleito is driving back home. Or I'm probably going to drive to Viva La Boba. I've never been there. It sounds kind of like kind of gross but we will see I'm not a big I don't I don't believe in well you know what I think a lot of people make boba nowadays but yeah we're gonna go try Viva La Boba but I'm excited because I just barely turned on my direction my Siri my new phone well Siri is not a phone but you know Siri comes with iPhone and I got the new iPhone 13, you guys, and let me tell you guys, major upgrade, major upgrade. Oh my god, I need to be looking at my phone. I'll tell you guys about Siri right now. It's a little sketchy, but vamos a ver, nada perdemos, no más ir a ver. No, no vamos a ver, no vamos a ir a ver, no más. We're gonna go get a taro boba, because Angelita wants a taro boba. But let me inform you guys, which it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really come into the contact, context, context, or whatever. Um... I got myself a new iPhone. I got the iPhone 13, which I don't know why, but that charger that I've been using heats up my phone way too much, and it's hot now. I, I think it's a charger, because it's a... It's a, one of those cheapy chargers, the Duracell ones that they sell at, at, T, at TJ Maxx. So I think I'm not going to charge my phone with the charger anymore. Yeah, I got the iPhone Max. So far, it's a big upgrade. Like now, I feel like me and Siri's, Siri ha, have became best friends. Now I get to talk to her. Like, I was shook that I could tell Siri now, which, it's just stupid me. I was shook that now I could talk to Siri and be like, Siri, is there a car crash near me? Siri, take me here. Siri, I have never in my life felt so attached and so close to Siri. So... Hey guys, I got the iPhone 13, which the camera, let me tell you guys, this camera is so thick, but we love thick around here, so, yeah, I just need to get a phone case before I crack the shit out of it, because most likely, I will drop it and crack it, so, pray for me that I don't do that, so let's go get a tarboa. I've never been to this side of San Bernardino.
Ooh. It never hurts to <laughs> to try new places. Hopefully I don't dro drop my money because this is bound to happen. Okay, it looks a little sketchy over here now. Oh. <laughs> I'm scared. Some of these buildings creep me out. Um, I think I should call my man. What is he going to do? He's not even around here. I am way too early out here trying to get Boba, but she's at 11 o'clock, so we are going to get Boba at 11 o'clock. What time is it right now? 10.42, so we have a couple minutes. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, la, la. Yeah, it would be me with a sweater, chanclas, and shorts. But look at this over here. Cute. Oh, I like that one. Those are cute. Those are cute too. But I don't know, it kind of creeps me out. So let's go back to the car. It's finally painting the porch. It's going to be black. So this is going to be black. Those little things are going to be black. Everything's going to be white. Black moldings, black trims. This guy over here is probably 9 in the morning, he's drinking a screwdriver. Smirnoff, we don't say Smirnoff around here, sir. Ask, ask me 51 questions. Okay. Let's do those both things. Okay. Can you stop going where the car plates are at? Yeah, but you keep I'll on going. I walk around and like go through. <laughs> okay, let's do these dumb um, boat questions. What is your favorite color? Black, of course. You don't even like black. I like black. No, you don't. How tall are you? I'm five eight. Who's but in some people's eyes, I'm five ten. Come on, that's your question. <laughs> Who's your favorite person to be around with? Pizza. Not even me. <laughs> <laughs> You're already my favorite person. Who is your favorite designer and why? I would say Louis Vuitton. Louis. Vuitton. <laughs> Why? I just love their pattern, their logo. Like, it's so iconic. What makes it iconic? Leather, like your face. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I wearing? What are we wearing I'm today? Wearing a thrifted jacket from the Swami. <laughs> this Forever 21 shirt. I don't know who's, who, what brand these pants are from. <laughs> and my Christian Dior's. And my tone falls. What is one thing that you hate going by? A slut. What is the thing that you love about your boyfriend? That he's a slutty. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's a slutty. <laughs> what? <laughs> what makes him a slutty? He's a bad bitch. <laughs> what are we doing today? We're going to go pick up pick apples, of course. Do we have any plans today? No. Just go pick apples. What is your favorite position? I just drank the drink. I need another drink. I like to. Oh my god, I came out with you. I thought you were gonna, gonna respond that. <laughs> oh, what else? What? I'm just going over here. Oh. <laughs> what position do you carry at work? I work in sales. But people think I'm a supervisor because I wear the red vest. What, what is your favorite? Uh, what is your dream designer to work with? If you were to work with probably one. Dior, why Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, one designer, Louis Vuitton, why? I just love it so much. <laughs> you should see my room. Oh. <laughs> Can we see your room? Not right now. I'm in a rush. What is one thing that you love about your boyfriend? Did I say that already? Yeah. 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 I said that he's a slutty. <laughs> How tall is your boyfriend? 5'10", in some people's eyes, 6 feet. Who is your favorite gay celebrity? Probably Trixie Mattel, Don Cadorio. Not so much a celebrity. I don't know what else to tell you. What do I do for a living? <laughs> you cannot be <laughs> saying that I <laughs> <laughs> You can bleep it out. <laughs> yes. 
Where is the Uber? What do you think about Monique? She's amazing. She's a hardworking, dedicated mom. What makes her amazing? She oh my god. She has fashion? Yes. She does? She has mom fashion. With her knitted sweaters and cardigan. Oh, I love it. She's a doll. What is the, the what is one thing that irritates you? When I have to repeat myself more than one time. What is your biggest achievement? That I got full time at work. <laughs> Within a year and a half. If you weren't in this, what is it called? I heard this Pandemic? one. Pandemic? No, no, no. In this state, state no. of mind? In this stage in your life? If you weren't in this, what is it called? Oh, oh but um, no. This house? No. This, in this city? No, this position, I guess. <laughs> but we don't need to put that out there. <laughs> What was the other what was, was the question that I was going to say? Or were we going to meet her there? She said she was going to pick us up. Let me pull out my Vogue questions. Can you stop getting on the plates? Jose Luis Valencia. Jacob Butts, for example. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie would have to be Mean Girls or uh, Monique is calling. Hello? Hello, I'm almost there. Do you have a pen? Do you have a pen? I have, yeah, I have a pen. Are you more of a dog or cat person? More of a dog. I'm sure like a dog. Best gift you've ever received? The gift of life. Why? Because it's life. What country do you wish you visit? <clears throat> I wish I was in Mexico right now, enjoying Cancun. Least favorite color? <sighs> That's a tough one. I don't think I have a least favorite color. <laughs> Shoes or shirt? Shoes, of course. Jock strap or boxers? Jock strap all the time. Beach party or romanticized dinner? How about you do be on the beach? Thank you guys for joining me today. My name is Jose Luis Valencia and stay tuned. Bye. Uber's here. Oh, and our ride is here. <laughs> Bye. Oh my god, this. Oh, they have lavender. Do they have?